Hi friends, this is uh, Rajnikant, Excel Guru, and here one of my friend, philosopher, guide, and uh, I call him Junior Bill Gates. So he is having doubt that I'll explain you doubt. He is having one doubt. So I'm going to explain you that doubt why. The answer is not a proper, right? Now, moving to the sheet. So, this is the sheet, okay? So, he applied the formula of some product like this. Okay, F2, and I will use double negative over here. He wants to know why it's not working. C, I press enter, zero only, okay? So, C. What actually the difference between search and some product equal sign? Everything I will explain to you guys. Here, keep and watch this video still. And it's very important question asked by one of our friend. Already I mentioned his name. Now, so here is the logic that, see, this one, we are telling the formula to check. Suppose this is A and this is question mark. Okay. How is it equal? Both are equal. So it considered as a single text. Okay, I, I agree with this. But here is the question mark equal to A. No, both are different. Both are different. So it cannot be equal. Right, first thing. And second thing is that you can use a search function like this. I will show you, you can use a search function like this. Then, then also it is giving wrong answer. Why? I will explain you this one also. I am using four question marks to find the four, four length of characters. Comma, and this is. This one also will give you the wrong answer. Okay, this is second thing. First thing is, this is a character, this is a character, but both characters are not same. Okay. Question mark is considered as a special character. Here it is the alphabet. So it's not equal. That is the first criteria. And second one thing is that such. Is it, it, will it work if I press F9? See. It is showing all things except one value that is having three characters. What it is uh, thinking that the formula that First four characters, only first four characters it is pick up in, in search. Are you able to understand? First four characters of the character is pick up in the in, in search formula. For that reason, it is showing all. But having one, three characters, for that reason, it is showing the value error. Here it is. Three characters. So this will not, this will also will not work. Right. Double negative, no need of double negative. I'll use some if error. If you find any error, show me the blank. I'm using 365, so I'm just pressing enter. Okay, seven. This will also will not work. Okay, how it will work then? The two things will not work, but how it will work? See, first of all, what is the criteria? You have to find the full length of characters. Okay, only four length of the characters, right? So what you have to do here means you have to use two functions are there, but I will use only one function that is very easy. That is called count if with wild card. Count if in a range, in a range, comma, what will be the criteria? Here the criteria will be the Four question marks that is considered as a we are giving only four question marks means four characters, only four characters, only four characters, not more than that. In search, minimum search of four characters. If I press enter to give two, see in search the difference between countif uh, and the search I'm explaining you have to see. Here in search, we are the function is 
thinking that you have to set minimum four characters. Minimum of four characters of length. Okay. Understood? Are you able to understand? Now here means it is asking only, only four characters. Not more than, nor less than, not maximum, nor minimum. Only four length of characters. The difference between search and countif. Why search will not work? Why countif is working? This is the thing. Okay. This is the thing. Are you able to understand? If you have any doubts, you can go ahead and mention in, in this video description. Okay. And if anybody wants to join my telegram channel then i am mentioning the telegram group link not only that if anybody wants to follow the my whatsapp channel then also i am mentioning the link okay thank you guys thanks for your support I want to explore more and more as much as I can. Okay. See eight. Here is showing eight. <clears throat> it will show it. But you, you, we have to get four. Uh -huh. What you will do? Give me suggestion. Uh, less than twelve hours. Without some product. Without some product. No, no. no. In county only, I will give the suggestion. Yes. Less than twelve hours, maybe. M percent that with uh, maybe wide card character asterisk M percent. No, no, no. Okay, we'll try okay. Let, let's try. Let's try. Whatever it may be, let's try. Uh -huh. Is it okay? Yes, yes, yes. M percent. And maybe after that, okay, got the got the answer. Got the answer. Yes. Oh my God. You are amazing, Junior Bilke. No, 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 this is not being about amazing. I just made it. I always do these sort of things in Excel. First try with anything which comes in the mind. So, Actually, I mean to say that you have to add equal sign over here. Okay, equal to. Okay. Okay. Then no it will work. Okay. The, the asterisk will work whenever there is a, some value before that. Mm -hmm. But what's the logic here, sir? Tell me why why this happened. I mean, why what was the need of uh, prefixing these uh, wildcard characters? How do you... Listen, listen, listen. Hmm. Actually, this is a text. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are telling a text that it may be any character between uh, this, what you say, mm -hmm. uh, the value. Mm -hmm. Before that. Okay, so, okay. So that okay. One, okay. Pick up in that one. But what oh. I am asking, I want exactly. Equal to, okay. I want exactly, okay. not before and after. I want exactly. Yeah, this makes sense. Because all these are text characters. Now this is making sense. Correct, sir. Brilliant. You this always, is all. You always say correct only. Now, coming mm -hmm. to this part, now tell why okay. it's not working. Okay, what is query? So, uh, uh, get a score for as per ID. ID is this much. And uh, we look up E5 uh, before to this and to and zero 456 this might be the case of some text and numbers like four, is 456 okay. uh, text both the way uh, i mean use trim maybe uh, trim might also come into play because there might be space uh, trim okay okay did you get the answer yes yes Answer. No, no, sir. You you are thinking like that. These are these are basic fundamental. I mean, for so many years we have been seeing these things. Listen, listen, listen. What is the criteria? Mean here is the number and here is the text. 
ಸಂಜೀವ್ ಕೌಶಿಕ್
See, nothing is there. What I am asking is to find the two digit numbers. Count of, sorry, hmm. count of two digit numbers, right? Okay. Are you able to see the screen properly? Yes, yes, uh, very much properly. So, what I'll do, I will use count ifs. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the spelling is wrong. I'll zoom a little bit. Count ifs. The array part is this one. The criteria range. Mm -hmm. And the criteria will be greater than or equal to 10. Okay, oh, first criteria. My God. Oh my God. And second criteria will be this one. This one. What will be the yeah. second criteria? Uh, uh, less than less than ninety nine. Yes, less than or equal to ninety nine. Yes, yes, correct, correct. Then what is this in in this? Oh my God! This is brilliant approach. Uh, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm this saying. Is, Nothing is there in this. This is sensational. Well, that's it. My God. That's Brilliant. It, that's, it, that's, it, that's it. This is amazing. If you want, you can count it. Number storage. If you want, mm. uh, we can... No, no. Listen. This is right. If you want more than uh, two digits, means you can take greater than mm. 100. Greater than 100. Yes, yes, yes. That approach we never thought. I'm getting calls. I don't know why I'm getting calls. Okay, I will be back later. Okay. Sure, sure, sir. Sure, sure. Yeah, somebody will disturb me, I know. Sure. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We uh, without uh, control shift enter it will work. Let's see how it can be done. First of all, I remove all these things from here. Right. So, yes. See what I'll do here. First of all, here Jan and here dates are there. Here Jan, here dates are there. So what I'll do here? Simply use a month function. Here like this. So it will pick up the month. That is one. And what I'll do is equal to month of. And means I'm, it's an array. I'm taking whole table, whole range. So it's an array. Close parenthesis. Wherever it finds the month one, it will pick up the true. And remaining are all falses. It's all falses. Means there is no January month in this range. So what I'll do here, small if equal to this, comma, row of whole range minus row of this, F4 plus one. Close parenthesis, I'll show you what you have to do with the uh, k value f4 first of all i'll press enter and i'll zoom a little bit so that you can able to watch properly see here instead of one lot of videos i explain you rows so rows g dollar five colon d5 close parenthesis that's it okay control shift enter will give you number else no need to worry about that we will remove that one we are interested in numbers not in arrays i mean to say errors so here it is picking this sales right i think somewhere i went wrong but seem it's showing like that only mm, yes i have forgot to lock over here f2 this one it has to move column wise, but it should not move rows. Control shift enter. Here I'm using control shift enter. 
So what you can observe in a formula bar, there is a curly bracket. Means it's an array function. So you want sales, right? So in index, you can easily use an index of this. A four comma. Control shift enter. Not there actually, so it's showing num error. When I drag formula, it will pick up the sales as per month. And I'll remove errors by using if error. Comma blank. Right. <coughs> so as per month, sales are extracted as per month. Okay, still now you understood. That is array, that is curly brackets. Here coming to this, I will show you how to do without what you mean to say. Control shift enter. Right. So first of all, what I'll do, I'll take this part as row of without control shift enter. I'm showing you F4 minus row of this F4 plus one. Here I'm using division, and here is the condition which I'm going to show you month of one percent this one. F4 locking the row but not the column equal to month of this whole range. <coughs> close parenthesis, close parenthesis. Everything is closed. Now I'll show you what is the thing that we uh, without control shift enter. F9, it will be all divisible errors. Right. Here I will use one function, amazing function. It starts from Excel 2010. That is aggregate. And here we can see lot of options, but from 10th onwards it can, no, not 10th, sorry. From 12th onwards it can handle array. Here we can see a small I think it is not shareable actually. If you can, you can uh, type because here some problem. I can't, uh, not showing the options actually. Aggregate 15, sorry, 14. Yes, sorry, 15. 15, comma 6. It is not showing uh, this thing for that reason. Sorry for that. And this will be the array F9. And what will be the K value? That is same as rows H dollar 19 colon H19. Till you find the black parenthesis, you can go on close parenthesis. See, enter, only enter. I did only enter, not control shift enter. If you want, you can check it. In the formula bar, <coughs> F2 index of the month, sorry, of the sale, F4 comma, and close the parenthesis, enter, only enter, I have not done control shift enter, What happened? It's not showing. Index is not coming. Okay, I have taken wrong. I think so. Mm, correct only now. Wait a minute. Yes, correct only. Enter. Yes, here it is. Here it is. You see it's the function which came at 2000, Excel 2010. If error, comma blank. Done. Okay, guys. Without array, it's an array, but without pressing Control Shift and Enter. Here, 
with array by pressing control shift and enter here i will write here what function i have used over here that is aggregate this is a function i have used hey guys and if you have any doubts, let me know in my comment box. Thank you, friends. May Lord Shiva bless you all. Thank you. We know the, okay, we'll do like this, some range. Some range will be this. And uh, the range will be this. And what will be the criteria here? This is the logic I'm going to ask you. Okay, nothing is there. It's only the blank. Double quotes, double time. Double quotes, double time. That's it. There is no, that's big. But here, everyone using uh, different, different types types in uh, my team, I mean to say in my office. So no one did completed. Okay, no one completed this one. Still now. I have given one hour time, but not yet completed. So this is a simple logic. You have to use this criteria. That's it. Enters. It's not array function. If you want, you can count only this one control this one and again this one see if you want i can show you the procedure alt equal so what i'll do i'll remove i'll keep a filter over this for your confirmation i mean to say for your confirmation i want to remove um, not here here okay i want to remove only three letters and i want to keep only the blanks only the blanks so it's showing wrong answer actually this is the if i because here it's showing wrong answer actually 205 if you want you can you can uh, okay what i'll do there is the one method that is i control i'll convert this into a table now i will filter with only the blanks i want to keep only the blanks it's here also showing wrong i don't know why it's showing wrong but the correct answer is 205. If you want, you can, what you'll say, you can add by yourself like this. 46 plus 65 plus 40 plus double two plus 32. I don't know why it's showing wrong answer. I'm unable to understand this one. Right. It has to show right answer actually. Now, okay. Coming to this one. What I said, if you have any doubt, ask me in the Telegram group. And what I said, you have to add. Because here is a very, very important thing. You have to observe that there is a case sensitive. Capital and small letters. Right. So you have to add these things. This is a very important query, which I'm going to explain you clearly. See. First of all, I will extract each and every letter from here. Mid of this comma row of indirect percent length of this close parenthesis, close parenthesis, again close comma one. So it will extract each and every letter F9, C, B, A. Everyone thinking, why don't you use directly find? Okay, if I do directly find, it will show us the error. It will show us the error. F9. See, all our errors. We are unable to find those values. NAs, value errors, everything is there. So you have to find the position. Here is the logic you have to follow. I will decrease the zoom. Okay. You have to follow the position. Uh, what you say? 
the logic that you have to transpose this. Why you want to transpose? Because here, see here first of all, I'll explain here, F9. Semicolon means column, okay? And here, if I'll do only this one, it will not understand this one. It's showing A, B, C like this, only A, B, C. So it will not find, it will check each and every letter and it will give you the error. It will check C over here, small c, it is not there, it's not, here it is. So it will pick up the wrong. So when I do transpose, it will extract each and every letter individually. F9. See some value of some numbers, some value of some numbers. Are you able to watch? I think so. Five, three, again, one. Only three are there here. See. So what, if you have any doubt, ask me. Uh, now what I have to do, I want to remove all the errors and I have to keep only the numbers. So what I have to do, I have to use. Are you there, RP? Ease numbers. F9. So it will remove all value errors and number as true. So we got this one. Right. Here, not yet over. So what I'll do, I'll use some product here. And if I do directly, it will also give you the error. It will give you the error, F9. So what I'll do here again, because previously we transposed these values. So you have to transpose again these values. Transpose. F9. Why? Because you have to multiply. I did comma for that reason. Now check it. RA1, F9. 72 plus 53 plus 72. 144 plus 53, 197. Con control Z, control shift enters. If I change this to A, C, M, N, A, C, M, N, A, C, A, and capital small C. So this and small C, this and M, N, this, 27. Here two values are there, M, N, 27. So it has to add M and N two times, 27 plus 27, so 179. How would it be possible? Let's calculate here, okay? So, capital A, here 53, okay. Uh, again, uh, small c, here 72, okay. And here, M and N, both are there, M and N. So, 27 plus 27, 54. When I add these things, Let's check it out. Is it right? If I gave double A double time. So 53 plus 53. 6, 106. Understood what I mean to explain you guys. And if you have any doubts, ask me in the Telegram group. Thanks for your presence. And may Lord Shiva bless you all with a lot of success and happiness the number what are the ways first of all what i'll do first of all i will extract each and every letter from the value by using a mix and the text will be this and starting number okay mix of this comma the starting number so i will use row of indirect percent length of this right and i want each and every letter from the values so it will show like this so i'm extracted each and every letter from the value separately in different columns 
and just yell at me, don't ask me in the comment box or in my telegram group, there are two groups. One is Excel is fun and another one is my interview group. Thank you guys. Thanks for your support. Have a nice day and may Lord Shiva bless you all.